All right, so just a short video on uh, maybe an approach to render some curves. Um, a, render curves, and maybe render them flat, flat shaded. So I've got a uh, V-Ray environment. Um, let me just change the color of this orange material. Just go something a bit more neutral, like a neutral gray or something like that. Maybe increase the reflections just a little bit. All right. So I have a surface. I got these curves here. Maybe I'll make these just a little bit, a little bit bigger. All right. So, uh, so Redshift is is cool. It can actually render curves out. Um, so I'm going to grab my curves that make up my pattern, and this could be whatever pattern you want. Uh, I'm going to go into Redshift, the Redshift menu curve sets, and I'm creating a redshift curve set. There we go. And once I've got this curve set, I, I then want to go in and, and modify it so that, you know, it looks a little bit, a little bit more attractive. So first of all, I'm going to reduce, uh, well, actually, let's change the mode to thickness. And let's change the width. Uh, so, you know, if this is a chalk drawing, for example, I might want something like quite a bit thinner, so like maybe 0 0.05. Cool. Uh, so that's giving me a fairly matte red. Uh, so what I want to do next then is, oh, let's enable visibility. Uh, and I think this is good. Brute force GI. Uh, yeah, we can have this. So you can turn visibility off and on for all of those things. Um, so what I want to do is apply my shader. And for the shader, you might want to go with maybe more of a matte-like shader, perhaps. Um, uh, perhaps the Shadow Catcher is a good one. Uh, we were using that with the Tune Shader. It seems pretty good. Uh, so we have the Redshift Matte Shadow Catcher. And I'm just going to give it uh, some color. So let me just start maybe going to a bit of white. And let's see how matte is that. I'm just going to start in increasing this emissive color, and that should flatten things out quite a bit. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty flat. Um, now, the cool thing, too, with this emissive color is that we can actually then, if, if you need it to start glowing, for example, uh, you can start increasing this, this light amount or even increasing the emissive of scale. Let's see, can I get something going? Uh, it doesn't look that that emissive, does it? I was hoping we get something a little bit brighter. Maybe if this object was smaller, it would work better. Yeah, that's not so emissive. That's okay. So let's go back to one. Cool. And there you go, you got kind of a flat shaded um, interpretation of your of your line work there. Mm, hopefully this, this helps. Um, if you already have your line, maybe just try the, the shadow catcher. It does a pretty good job of just kind of um, you know, getting rid of any of that three three dimensional aspect of things, for the most part. Now I do have reflections on this ground, which is what we're we're seeing here. Uh, so if I turn that off, there we go. It's a little bit more more right on there. We could also turn off cast shadows and things like that on the uh, on the um, curve set as well. So if it's just a drawing on the ground, like a chalk drawing, you shouldn't cast shadows and things like that. All right, uh, I guess that's that. Uh, let me just stop it there.